Uh, in this particular session, I'll be teaching you more on what Power BI is, the various parts, and actually how to get started. Hi, welcome to 5 Minutes in Power BI with Ebenezer Software Doing. Um, brought to you by Rika Business Intelligence Group. Our previous video showed why you needed to learn Power BI and also we went on to how to download Power BI. In this particular session, I'll be teaching you more on what Power BI is, the various parts and actually how to get started. I'll start today and we'll continue in subsequent sessions. So now let's quickly go to what Power BI is and then get some understanding in what we are the tool we are using so power bi is microsoft's analytical tool that helps you connect to various data sources analyze data and share it throughout your organization it has three parts the desktop the service and the mobile that's why the focus would be on the desktop because that's where the center of all the actions are so this is the flow of work it moves from the desktop into the service and then to mobile so that is how the flow is and the desktop itself has two parts the power bi itself and the query editor the power bi is for actually doing the insights the dashboard and that is the visualization of the data and then the query editor is for transforming data in subsequent videos too, i'll teach you the processes you go through as a data analyst or a business analyst so this is the Power BI itself. Later, we'll go into the query editor for the transformation. So in the Power BI, there's a ribbon, there's a report view, there's a data view on my left here, and there's a relation view, now called the model view. There's a pages tab, there's a visualization pane. This has also been edited or changed in the new formats that is currently available. And then there's a fields pane where you see the actual tables that you have in your data. So these are the parts of the actual Power BI. In the query editor, which is the transformation tool inside Power BI, these two ads have to become the Power BI. And I must say that Microsoft has the only tool that helps you do end-to-end -end analytics. Most tools, you would have to do the transformation elsewhere or an add-in to be able to transform data. But Microsoft gives us the opportunity to transform data in the same tool. So in the query editor, we have one, which is the query ribbon, the left pane here, and the center pane where you see most of the things happening and the applied steps. With this in mind, now let's go to the actual tool that you downloaded so that you can have a hands-on view. Okay. So now let's go to the actual tool. Okay, so what you downloaded, this is what you would see. And like I just showed you, there's a ribbon button, there is the report, there is the data, there is the model part. And these are the pages. There is a filter, there is a visualization, and then there's the fields. You see the fields currently is empty because we have no data in here. Once we bring our data in there, we'll see that this is showing something in our table. So I'll first bring in um, some data from Excel so that we'll be able to go through the query editor. So I have with me here a financial sample which we'll be using throughout the tutorial. Um, these are just sheets inside the sample data. Always you have to transform your data because data does not come prepared. Once I click on transform, the query editor comes. So you saw the one, the query page, the this the query pane, as well as the center pane and the apply steps pane. So this is the query editor is inside the Power BI. And then I'll just close and apply. When I close and apply, you realize that now my fields pane is showing something, which is the table that I brought in, as well as the fields. So the fields are the columns in my data set. So with this understanding, now we can begin to slice and dice our data. So in my next episodes, we are going to have fun transforming data, analyzing data, building dashboards, and taking you through what you need to do to actually get excellent reports. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.